Resources for first responders across the region are expanding. A state-of-the-art emergency operations center will soon be housed on the campus of Western Illinois University in Macomb. Tonight News 8's Devin Brooks tells us how this new hub will make a difference for those answering the call. It's our top story tonight at 10. This is not something we normally see in smaller communities, but it will be a point place for the region and even surrounding counties for those we call on in emergency situations. It's where they can gather a plan and send help. We're here to serve the people. An asset if disaster strikes. Emergencies are happening now more often than we can handle. Western Illinois University will be home for an emergency operations center. The video wall that you see behind me uh, and all the display panels and stuff display different data sets for decision makers. This is the temporary facility, but these pictures show what it'll all become with high tech gear from cameras, drones and software. It serves not only west central part of Illinois, um, it also can serve Iowa in a need and Missouri in a need. It's where first responders will team up and prep to handle crisis. It's not a matter of uh, of, of if anymore, it's when. If we had a natural disaster, okay, a tornado coming in, this center can tell you so oncoming storm, predictions of those storms, how to get people out of that pathway. If we had an active shooter, we could tell you exactly where the active shooter is at. And its reach is also expected to impact students. They will get hands-on training in our EOC. That means from day one, they're learning the job. And another addition to this, the center has also been approved to be used by federal and state agencies if they ever were called to the area. In Macomb, Devin Brooks, WQAD News 8. And the entire project costs $6 million. $4 million still needs to be funded. The school planning to turn one of its old facilities into the new center. It's estimated to be done in about four years.